Hawks win! Hawks win in regulation 4-1 over the Columbus Blue Jackets. And Corey Crawford becomes a brick wall in this game. Well, I'm going straight out. I could not watch the game. I was listening to the entire game on WGN Radio because I was at work. And the um, center ice app was not working today. I don't know why. But I got to listen to the game. And I will tell you, Hawks need to work on their power play. I know it's the worst in the NHL. It's terrible. They don't know how to score on the power play. Go to the fundamentals. Get away with this. Stop doing this 1-3-1 stuff the Washington Capitals do. And maybe you will learn how to score on a power play. What does it take you guys to learn not to do the Washington Capitals format of a power play? We do not have Alex Ovechkin sitting on the freaking circle to just snipe one in. We used to have Panarin. Oh wait, he was on Columbus, and Columbus lost today. <laughs> okay, well let's go into the stats of this game. And I, since I could not watch it, I got to watch. I watched the replays of the goals and everything. So, well, to start off the scoring, Alex DeBrincat three minutes and forty eight seconds and scored on their the Hawks' first shot on net. And that was a goal Bobrovsky should have saved. He he looked like he could he should have saved it. It was right to or to his pads. That was something on Bobrovsky. He did not save it, and the Hawks took a one to nothing lead. Three minutes and forty seconds into the game, and the assist went to Cahoon and Brent Seabrook. Um, Alex Zabrinkit scoring on this goal gave him his seventh goal to start the season. He scored in every, he has a seven game point streak going to start the season. He's playing like he's, he's playing grilled hockey. Um, I do have to say, um, Henry Yerky Haru today. Took his first two penalties in a, in the NHL, which is rare because he never had a penalty yet going into tonight's game, and he got two tonight. But let's not really talk about those. Um, at 12:09 in the first, Zach Wierniczki from the blue line just snipes one past Corey Crawford. Nothing to blame on Crow on that. That was just a pure snipe. It was a four-on-four -four goal. The defense, it, the Hawks had a, it was in the offensive zone for the Hawks for a faceoff. They lost the draw, and Columbus just marched up the ice and just scored it. It's one of those type of goals. Um, but Corey Crawford, I'm saying it. He was a brick wall tonight. I will tell you that. From what I saw, I saw highlights of him. He made some tremendous saves. He deserves a steak dinner from the team because it was a pure goalie win, even though we put up four goals. Uh, in the second period, there were no goals on in the game. But I have to tell you, Hawks seemed to come out flat and did not want to play this game. They, after two periods, they only had 15 shots. And the um, Blue Jackets had a total of 29 shots after two periods of play. 29! That's nuts! Um, he... Corey Crawford ended up saving 16 shots on net in the second period alone. He was on his head tonight. 
he looked like he seems like he didn't miss a beat. But in the third period, this is where we got our goals. It, at 7:43 in the third period, Marcus Kruger tips one in, and Alexander Fortin gets his career first point in the NHL. The goal originally went to Fortan, but it went off of um, Kruger's shin pad, and Kruger gets his second goal of the season. So, Fortan and Kane gets the assists. At 1546 in the third period, Patrick Kane scores on a beautiful goal. It was tic tac goal to for the works. Brent Seabrook and Nick Schmaltz get the assist. It was Schmaltz to Seabrook to Kane open net scores. Hawks take a 3-1 lead over the Blue Jackets. And that made, um, I saw the highlight of John Tortorello. He even cussed on the bench after that because he knew that was a goal. <laughs> that was, it was a funny thing. <laughs> Then, at 18:23, Columbus Pohl has um, Borowski off the net, out of the net, and Patrick Kane scores on the empty net, and the assist went to Anisimov. Artie missed the empty net two times prior to Kane scoring in the empty net. Artie ended up opting to pass to Kane. And to finish the game. But. I know Kane scored two goals. But honestly this game was for Corey Crawford. He shows that he hasn't missed a beat. Even though he's missed 10 months in his of hockey. That's quite a bit for anyone. Corey Crawford. Thank you for coming back. We've missed you. Total of shots that Crow faced tonight was 39 shots. And he only allowed one goal. That's some good goaltending right there. Uh, Hawks had a total of 26 shots and they scored four goals. Three of which went past Bobrovsky, and one was his empty net. Uh, power play. Hawks suck at the power play, so why even bother? They went, I want to say... Yeah, the Hawks went 0 for 3 on the power play tonight, and the Blue Jackets went 0 for 4. Face-offs were 50-50 right down the middle. Hawks had a total of four shots on, no, four hits <laughs> um, to Columbus's 12. Then uh, the Hawks had 15 block shots to Columbus's 11. Yeah, Hawks looks, the advantages look like they were on the Hawks' way, but honestly, Columbus just absolutely came out on fire wanting to win this game. Hawks looked like they did not want to win it until like the last 15 minutes of the game. So, it was a fun game. I know, I. it was a shame I could not watch it, but I ended up watching all the highlights and stuff. I got to listen to the game, so my streak still is on, on me not missing a Blackhawks game. Because I listened to the entire game on my ra on the on my cell phone by the radio, because I don't like missing Hawks games and I haven't missed one for a long time. But Corey Crawford, you get the brick wall award because holy crap, you were one tonight. And please leave a comment down below. What's your thoughts on in this game? Because Hawks win 4-1 over the Columbus Blue Jackets. Corey Crawford gets the first star of the night, in my opinion, because he deserves it. Taking 
39 shots on net, only allowing one goal. That's some goal. Oh, that's some great goaltending. Patrick Kane gets the second star, and I will give um, Fortan the second, uh, the third star of the night because he got his career first point. Makes sense. So. Please leave a comment down below what your thoughts were on this game because holy crap the Hawks killed, uh, were getting killed but they still won the game. And thank you for watching the broadcast. I know you enjoyed the outcome. Hawks win 4-1 to one, and most of all, let's go Hawks!